It's 12.42 on a Friday, and guess what? We have something really fun to react to. Some more Can't Tame Her content, which is really exciting. Just Dance released a behind the scenes of Can't Tame Her, and we're going to watch it together and see, like, I want to live through Avery and the Just Dance team, you know? Like, it just dance changed my life. Uh, so a lot of things. Baby Avery. I pictured myself as the cowgirl dancing to Cotton Eye Joe, and I was like, that's me. I'm a dancer now. I'm a dancer now. I'm a dancer now. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Lil Sia. I'm a Just Dance content creator, and I'm going just to dance. Just Dance 2024 edition. Okay, captions. Get it together. So I found out I was going to be a coach because I had a meeting with the Just Dance community team. And at the end of the yeah, day, uh, love that shirt. Developer um, said, "Would you like to be a coach on Just Dance 24 edition?" Uh, no. <laughs> no. I don't remember <laughs> that because I was completely in shock. So I adorable. I didn't believe it for like a week later. The process to becoming a coach. I knew would be very detailed, but I think I didn't understand it until I became a coach. And then wow. I was like, oh, wow, it takes a lot of teamwork to make one Just Dance map. I had multiple rehearsals of the. I do feel like watching someone like, like an IRL, like in real life person on the screen, it kind of, um, that I know it kind of like opens your eyes to these behind the scenes things like wow how long did it take her to learn that choreography what went into it um it's just so interesting and I think it for me at least personally I feel like I've been thinking about that more and it's just so cool to see how the team did come together and create this masterpiece but anyways let's watch sorry for pausing dance and we changed the choreography a few times to make it perfect and I had like multiple fittings to make sure that the costume fit well and didn't mm. I danced and like the makeup tests and the wig tests and it really I love that the wig has like, like partially her real hair color in it map. and I think the coolest part of the experience has been watching everything morph over time like seeing my costume from scratch like just so cool. Just a, a bodysuit become like my costume was just really special. It's pretty cool. I think the aspect of making a map that surprised me the most was um, how difficult it is to do fitting because you just stand there for hours while people like, did hours and, and like measure that alone. Like standing there is a lot. It's so crazy. I feel like. This like even with fashion shows or like any type of performance, there's so much behind the scenes that you don't see and like so much hard work. It's kind of crazy when you think about the amount of time and energy and hard work that went into like a three minute and something song in a Just Dance game, right? Like it is so insane to see how much goes into this. And that's why I love behind the scenes like this, because it really kind of paints that picture and just makes you appreciate the game that much more. Um, there's just so much creativity and you can see, you can see that shine in these types of videos. Where everything should go, the intensity of the dance was something I wasn't expecting because- um, Yes, full dancer so dance. much intensity. I just showed up and they told me what the dance was, what the- <gasps> Okay, that was something that I was questioning. I was like, did Avery have a say in this? Like, did she choose what song or did she like... But the fact that like she walked in and like everything was kind of ready to go. That's interesting. I was, I was curious about that. But I felt very professional because I learned the dance yeah! in an hour and a half. That's and it! I was very proud of myself so that's so impressive yeah and not only that but like to learn a dance that intense in an hour and a half and then also like you could see in um the dance like how much 
she adds to the choreography, like facial um, expressions, uh, eye rolls. Like there's a lot that I feel like Avery added in to the choreo that like made it so much more her um, or Clementine. And I don't know, that's really cool. Um, to learn choreography like that in an hour and a half is very impressive. Uh, it's, it's amazing that, um, from what I know, Avery's only had, um, some professional like dance classes that like she signed herself up for. Um, that's pretty incredible. Like she, I think she was just born to be a dancer. Um, especially when you can learn to dance like that, that quickly, obviously as just dancers, we've gotten better at picking up choreo just because we kind of learn patterns and things like that in, in, um, the song or the choreo that you're doing, but that's incredibly impressive. An hour. <laughs> Am I good at dancing? <laughs> ah, just a little <laughs> bit. A moment from this experience was learning my choreography from the dance. Yes. Taught me how to dance. Wow, they're all doing it with her. Just dance coaches. That's so cool. Taught me how to dance as a teacher. Yeah, so basically like that was her professional training. Helping me with That's so cool. So it's that has been my favorite experience by far. Oh my god. I would describe my map as very See, like it's like the, she's got the movement. It's like perfected, right? But then you add in that like facial expression. Like she even has like a little bit of a lip movement there. I would describe my. Like, are you kidding? Slay. And inspiring. I yes. The concept is so amazing. And I think the storytelling in it is really incredible. It is. That's what we had me in like tears. Your goals can happen. Yes. Oh my God. I'm getting emotional again, but that's exactly what I took away. I was talking to my mom last night on the phone and I was like, you have to watch this entire masterpiece because for me, there's an extremely powerful message behind it that you are limited to the box that you put yourself in. If you allow yourself to live outside of that box, your dreams can come true. And I do think sometimes I stick myself in a box and maybe other people can relate to that. Um, maybe you can't, but that map for me was like, wow, this message speaks to me. I'm in this place. If I want to get out of it, like I have that power within me. And Avery is such a good She's like the perfect role model for that. Um, I'm sure a lot of just dancers feel this way, but it's so inspiring to see her in that um, concept of a map. I just, I love it so much. You think they are so out of this world that they might yeah, come true? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I took away. <sighs> At the end, like... I just see pride. I, and I, I love it so much. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my reaction to like re dancing to this for the first time, but this literally this piece right here, it sent me. Cause it was like, wow, Avery quit just dance. She quit just dance. And I, there was a lot like, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was just thinking about that. And I was like, she was meant to be here. Like everything that she has gone through, I tr and I truly believe this. I feel like she truly is has been meant to be like just radiating here. I I love this map. Like I it's forever going to hold a very special place and and more than just dance. I think it means a lot in like, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit corny here, but I really do feel like this map speaks to me and hopefully to others on like a large level of like in life, the only person taming yourself is you. Like you are the person that has control over you and 
if you kind of have the ability to see things um, and see them that they can be bigger for you um, and that you can chase your goals and sure it's going to take, you know, some commitment, some consistency and some time um, and some passion, but it's so possible. I love this end scene here with her. <sighs> feels, man. Just uh, feels. I am so glad they did it behind the scenes. I think it would be silly if they didn't, right? But it is so amazing to see a Just Dancer in the game. It is so inspiring. The map, the lore, or the story, the coach, like, hands down so incredible i wish this was like an hour long behind the scenes because i i would have liked to see more i would have liked to know like how long the entire process was like is it a day i don't know but um that was really cool and uh yeah my message to you from this map is to break down those walls, break down those barriers if you have goals and go out and crush them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel.